uh, speaking of balance that's complicated, I, I wonder because we're living through one of the more important moments in human history with this particular virus, it seems like pandemics have at least the ability to uh, kill off most of the human population at their worst. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're just fascinating because there's so many viruses in this world. There's so many, I mean, viruses basically run the world in the sense that uh, they've been around a very long time. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. They seem to be extremely powerful in, their dis in a distributed kind of way, but at the same time, they're not intelligent and they're not even living. Do you have uh, like high level thoughts about this virus that uh, uh, like in terms of you being fascinated or well, terrified or no, no. somewhere in between? So I believe in frameworks, right? So like one of them is the evolution. Uh -huh. Like we're evolved creatures, right? Yes. And one of the things about evolution is it's hyper competitive. And it's not competitive out of a sense of evil. It's competitive as a sense of there's endless variation and variations that work better win. And, and then over time, there's so many levels of that competition. You know, like multicellular life pro partly exists because of you know, the, the, the competition between, you know, different kinds of life forms. And we know sex partly exists to scramble our genes so that we have, you know, genetic variation against uh, the invasion of the bacteria and the viruses, and it's endless. Like, I read some funny statistic, like the density of viruses and bacteria in the ocean is really high. And one third of the bacteria die every day because the viruses invaded them. <laughs> like one third of them. Wow. Like, like yeah. I don't know if that number is true, but it was like, it's, like there's like the amount of competition and what's going on is stunning. And there's a theory as we age, we slowly accumulate bacteria and viruses. And as our immune system kind of goes down, you know, that's what slowly kills us. And it just feels so peaceful from a human perspective when we sit back and are able to have a relaxed conversation. Uh, yeah. and, and there's wars going on yeah, out yeah. there. Like right now. You're, you're you harboring how many bacteria? And, you know the ones. Many of them are parasites on you, yeah. and some of them are helpful, and some of them are modifying your behavior, and some of them are. You know, it's it's really it's really wild, but you know this particular manifestation is unusual. You know, in the demographic uh, how it hit, and the political you know right. response that it engendered, and you know the health care response it engendered, and the technology it engendered, it's kind of wild. Yeah, the communication just, on Twitter that it, it uh, every led every to, level. all that kind of stuff, at every, every single level, yeah. But but what usually kills life, the big extinctions are caused by um, meteors and volcanoes. That's the one you're worried about, as opposed to human-created bombs and, that we and, uh, and launch solar, at solar flares are another good one. Ca you know, occasionally solar flares hit the planet. So it's nature. Well, we, it's, yeah, it's, it's all pretty wild. <laughs>